Look at all the trucks. Oh my gosh. Starting this vlog out kind of late in the afternoon because my wife and I are headed to the Whistling Diesel truck street meet and got to feed the pigs here real quick. It's going to be nuts. We have had probably a hundred trucks roll by our house, rolling coal, thumbs up, waving, and like it's going to be sick. We're going to go over there and just kind of see what's going on, see how many trucks actually show up. Not sure what to expect truly, really, but I can tell you just by the trucks I've seen roll by our house alone, because we're kind of close to a pretty major roadway, there's going to be a lot of people, and that's just the people coming from the east. So it's going to be nuts. There's people coming from all over the place, even from like 10 hours away, people coming from everywhere just to meet up in this place. And the reason I want to go film it so bad is because it's not an actual rented out venue, and I think there's going to be some trouble in terms of like burnouts and police showing up because they didn't rent any place. And he disclosed that when he posted about it. He said, hey, I did not rent out the place, okay? So we're not staying in one place and we're not telling everybody, hey, so-and-so rented the area. Like, it's not what happened. We're just showing up in a general vicinity just to see trucks rolling around town. So that's what we're doing. We're not gonna take a truck though, because I've only got the six speed right now and Rosine, and both of those are, they're fun to drive. I think it'd be a little bit more fun to take the Hellcat and cruise around on that thing. There's gonna be a lot of 392s and Hellcats apparently showing up. There's a friend of ours who said that he's taking his 392 over there, and there's gonna be a big group of guys in muscle and sports cars too showing up. So we're gonna get in the car here and head on up that way and see the madness. There's a, there's a lot of people up there. Look at our donkey. He's been cooped up all day because we didn't want him grazing all day. We wanted to let him out in the afternoon. And uh, we let him out here and he's just running laps. It's hilarious. He's just been running around and around and around as fast as he possibly can. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I'm like a kid in a candy store right now. We're almost to the area where there's supposed to be the meet around nine and it's in, that's in like 15 minutes. There's already, there's a power strobe rolling up next to me here. We saw trucks all over on the way here. I think it's gonna be crazy. I think there's gonna be a huge turnout. I don't know for sure, but my dad said he's been up here since about seven in the area. And he said that there's a lot of trucks here. Look at all the trucks with trailers right there all unloaded. Look at all those Cummins there with trailers unloaded. Which means there's, there's another, there's a huge power stroke right there. Which means those trucks are over here somewhere, so this is going to be cool. Like, look at these trucks rolling coal behind us. Look at all the coal. Look how smoky the whole area is, look. Look at all the smoke. <laughs> is your window down? Yeah. Look at this cab, real cool. The single cab looks like ours. It looks just like our single cab. Gosh, look at all these trucks. This is stupid. Oh my gosh. This is so stupid. Oh my gosh. It turned like. Whoa, oh gosh, that's, that's far, far from stock. <laughs> what the heck? Turn uh, left here. What Holy shoot, frick. you see how smoky the ball is? Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Whistling Diesel it broke Fort Wayne. Like freaking rubber. It just smells like straight up rubber and diesel and coal. Oh my oh goodness. Gosh. Look at this Duramax. I don't think you're gonna be able to get in there, man. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh my gosh. There's no way. Look at all the freaking trucks. There's a Jeep behind me just. Our this rev limiter. Are, can they even see us in here? Honestly? Look how many people are in here. This is nuts. Who's doing a burnout? This charger right Oh, here. the RT? <laughs> Dang. There's so yeah. many trucks. Like, look at all the trucks. Malachi's filming. That's crazy. Look at all the smoke over there. Look at all the trucks. Oh my gosh. Look at all the smoke, well, I yeah. I don't know how live I'm really gonna go for. 
Oh my gosh. This but is insane. This is for people who I guess can't go. You're just joining in. This is absolutely insane. There's Look at this thing. Horns. Yeah, this is nuts. This is crazy. I don't even see. The sky looks black. And there's some guys on like dirt bikes, dirt bikes and crap and ripping crap. around in here. I mean, this is just freaking crazy, guys. You, you like, we can't have the windows down at all. I probably shouldn't be breathing this in anyways. Thirty nine weeks pregnant. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, are you going to go straight? Is that like where people are going to do burnouts? Or I don't know, but this Duramax is freaking doing burnouts. Like, crazy burnout. This one's doing one right here. But he, the issue with that <laughs> this, that scares me is somebody's going to let broke. go. <laughs> like, somebody's going to, like, let go and, like, ram into somebody else, you know? You want to go straight? Well, I don't know. Everybody's turning. Well, that's because they're going to park. So if you're just going to drive through, then I would just drive through. Some of these trucks are interesting, though. This is freaking Indiana for you people. Most of these people ain't from Indiana. <laughs> no, most of these people Well, actually, there. there's a lot of Indiana yeah. plates. But there's a lot of people from I'm Indiana. just trying to look for people I recognize. I don't recognize anybody yet. Oh. I get off here. Give him room. Okay, now. <laughs> Just have enough room so in case you slip. So there's already a fire truck here. We don't really know why. Other than there's, Maybe there's a fire. like tons of burnouts happening. Yeah, I don't I don't really know. But uh Oh my goodness, look how freaking wide this truck is. That's yeah, just ridiculous. We've been doing a couple burnouts, but that's because we're getting new time. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. I don't really know where each line goes. No, I don't either. We're probably gonna go make one more, get through this lap and leave because it's. Yeah, it's just it's crazy. I told, it's about to get out of control. I it's told, nine. It's just nine o'clock now. Yeah, it just turned nine o two. Like, and they're already way. here with freaking. Uh, Hey, when they go oh behind my us. gosh! Hey, look. Hey, I can't get it. What's, What's up? up? That right there is probably one of the most famous Duramax trucks, hands down. At least on my Instagram feed. <laughs> we are. Everybody keeps doing that to us, like trying to get us to do burnouts, but we literally have already done like maybe ten. I'm so afraid of somebody either getting hit by somebody doing uh, a burnout no. or there. somebody's tail end. Here's the popo. -po. Or somebody's tail end swinging over. Oh, and of course, we're going to go right behind him. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to go behind him if that's actually a police officer that's on duty. Right I don't now. know what he's doing if he's trying to stop it or if he's trying to like. He might. Be. Just watch or. Who knows? Literally, it is 907 and it's already like there's police, fire department, or he's here. Yeah, I'm like a little like, bit like. Like, hasn't even been an hour in. So, um, I don't know. What? <laughs> what? Oh, here they come. <laughs> They're leaving. What? <laughs> look at the, look at the rubber all over that thing. Yeah, I know. Holy crap, how high of a lift do you think that is? <laughs> Way too high. <laughs> oh, dang. Clean freaking first gen. We're There's like right, we're literally like right in the middle of everything. Where's Whistling Diesel's first gen is my question. Look at all these trucks. It's so many famous trucks that you never thought you'd see in person. Look at all these people that want me to do burnouts. I, we just did a burnout. I know, but there's, <laughs> a, there's getting, a first gen so a close annoying. to me. I know, just be careful. There's a first gen so close yeah, to my rear end. clean first gen too. Guys, so far it's been crazy. Just crazy, tons of people. I I don't know, what did you say, 5,000 trucks oh here gosh, probably? Probably cars. 20 to 40,000 people. I mean, it's just nuts. Jeeps. It's crazy. Yeah, and of course he's doing it. <laughs> I don't know how to yeah. 
white car. <laughs> Yeah, everybody is doing it though. I mean, it, it's it's a lot of fun. It's crazy though, but man, so glad I came. A lot of adrenaline, a lot of smoke, We're not gonna a lot get of bald out. tires <laughs> at the end of this. But this is way way too cool. Way too cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is just crazy. Oh my gosh. This thing is crazy. The trucks in here is unreal. I think when he claimed world's biggest street diesel meet, I think he can hold that title. I mean, this is unreal. I've never seen this many trucks in one place. Mm -hmm. I mean, just people in general at a meet, you know? This guy's literally on the flower garden trying to do a burnout, halfway on the pavement, halfway on that. Look at those headlights. This is just nuts. This loud and proud guy keeps following you. <laughs> Here, take this. There's so many people that are like, do a burnout, do a burnout. And like, I've done a lot of burnouts tonight, but like, look at the cars around us. Yeah, if I tried to do a burnout, guy. this thing goes side to side so much that I'd be smacking so many people. And I don't want to do that because, you know, who wants to have a There's Hellcat like with a total salvage title on it or whatever? This is just so, this is just unbelievable. Here's this loud and proud guy again. Oh, I call yeah, him loud and proud us. guy, but he's just got a loud and proud t-shirt on, but he keeps he keeps following us around. What's up? What's up? How you doing? Not too bad about yourself. Doing good. Yeah. See ya. It's crazy out here, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Biggest meet I ever seen. I know. Last night was the absolute craziest, most insane car slash truck event I've ever been to. There's so much I wish I could have got on video. I was looking at some of the live streams from some of the other YouTubers that were there. There's a bunch of YouTubers, there was a bunch of big Instagram pages, just a bunch of very well-known trucks and people there. And also just tons of the fans from everybody that was just gathered there and it was just nuts. Honestly, one of the craziest experiences I've ever witnessed like firsthand. And there's some things that I'm gonna show you in this video that are actually just super, super funny. There's more burnout. Like there was news clips and little clips from like people around the shopping area that were like making up stories about how, oh my gosh, these people are all just flipping me off and they're yelling at me and cussing me out when I just ask, hey, how are you? What are you up to? We keep thinking that they're leaving and they're actually circling the shopping center. Like they're burning out, circling the shopping center and then coming back. None of them want to tell us what they're doing. If you ask, they just yell at you. We called our, the owner of our store and she said that we could close the store because we didn't feel safe. They're taking videos of the employees in the shopping center and like flipping us off and honing their horns real loud to scare us and burning out in front of us. Nobody was doing that. Like there was some swearing and stuff, but not in like a harmful way. Just people like, oh dang, you know, like that's so sick. Like that's crazy. Like just, you know, just people having a good time. There was no harm done. They are burning out so much in the parking lot. Like these windows aren't fog. That is all white fog, like from tires. But the police say they're not doing anything illegal. They said they've checked the situation. I haven't seen a single officer since this started. Not one. Super cool, super fun event. There were people definitely like uh, on social media trying to, you know, paint a picture of what it wasn't and basically saying it was just like some crazy political stunt. And I'm like, no, it was just a truck meet. You know what I mean? It was just a super crazy huge truck meet, you know? And it did get uh, some attention towards the end. And we were only there till about 10, 10 30 ish, and we started heading out. And that's when there were some officers starting to roll in. They sent out a huge message, like an Amber Alert almost type of deal, to like everybody's cell phone that was within the Fort Wayne area. And it says, if you're within the Glenbrook area, leave or you are subject to arrest. And I was like, okay, we're gone, you know? I mean, it was just crazy, but nobody got hurt. Nobody was throwing bricks at people's buildings or cars. Nobody was jumping on anybody else's cars. Everybody was jumping on like the roofs of their own trucks or their buddies' trucks, just having a good time to be able to see what's going on. But like, it was all just in good fun and it was really, really sweet. Unfortunately, I did not get a chance to see Whistling Diesel there. It was kind of like, 
I think it was just bad timing. Like I literally pulled up and it was probably like nine. As soon as I think his first gen, he had like kind of like pulled out of the parking lot. I don't know where he went. He might have just came right back, but he kind of like left. And then like I saw all the trucks in a line that were following right behind him all pass right by me. But I never saw his truck. His, his was the first in line and that first gen, they kind of like moved out of sight from me at the time and I was like oh bummer you know because like that's why everybody went there you know they wanted to you know see him see his truck and just see the guy who got the entire group of people over there I mean that was just absolutely crazy to me just so crazy and let me kind of give you my input on whistling diesel because there's a lot of people that love him and there's a lot of people that hate him which you got to have both if you're going to be big okay there's a lot of people that hate him for his style which is a lot of the times just destruction of trucks or vehicles in general and I can understand people being chapped about that but you got to evaluate yourself and try to think about what's actually the thing that's bothering you is it that he's destroying his own stuff or is it that he's very successful and very well known and makes a ton of money while destroying his own stuff and you look at it you're gonna say no I'm not jealous but you're almost like jealous that he can have such a good time doing what he does and make a crazy living doing it. Cause I think most of the people that I know who are like, oh, I hate that guy, actually mostly out of envy that like he makes it look so easy, but he's just having so much fun, you know? So, I mean, you can't hate that. Like I'm one of those people that like, there's people that I see on social media, I'm kind of like, I really don't care if you do. But if they're super successful and they're doing what they're doing and they're having a good time, I'm just like, you know what? But you gotta respect the hustle because it's not the same for everybody. And if he's having a good time and he loves what he does and he's chasing his theory of a dream of his, and that's just what you gotta do. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And there's gonna be some big changes here coming up soon with a lot of just stuff like with the brand stuff, the truck giveaway stuff, the YouTube channel stuff, like there's gonna be a lot of big changes coming. We wanna to try to optimize what we do for not only you, but for our own lives. Um, and it's just gonna be, it's gonna be great, but it's gonna be different. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Do not forget that if you wanna win that SRT Hellcat that we were trying to burn the tires off of yesterday or the six speed manual Cummins, which is sitting right over there. Links are in the description below and it's very simple. You go to either of the sites, whichever vehicle you want to enter for, or maybe you want to enter for both. Choose any items out the store, check out, you're automatically entered and it's that simple. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you were there and if you did get any videos, please send them to me. I'd love to see them. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. There's more burnout. We keep thinking that they're leaving and they're actually circling the shopping center. Like they're burning out, circling the shopping center and then coming back. None of them want to tell us what they're doing. If you ask, they just yell at you. We called our the owner of our store and she said that we could close the store because we didn't feel safe. They're taking videos of the employees in the shopping center and like flipping us off and honing their horns real loud to scare us and burning out in front of us. See what I mean? Like, he's flying through here. People are trying to come into these stores with their families. They are burning out so much in the parking lot. Like, these windows aren't fogged. That is all white fog, like, from tires. But the police say they're not doing anything illegal. They said they've checked the situation. I haven't seen a single officer since this started. Not one.